Hi guys, thanks for joining me today. Today I have another wig review for you. This beautiful wig is from the RPG show and the number is PTS003-S. But you don't have to remember all those numbers and letters because when you go to the site, you're going to see this wig. Its name is Lisa Ray. This wig was sent to me by the RPG show. This is the box that it, the wig was shipped in. And inside the box was a, a beautiful wig. And also, before I continue to show you the wig, I'm going to show you what else came in the box. Inside came a book of instructions. And this book has um, some hair care instructions, how to wash your wig, how to condition it. Came with this beautiful paddle brush. It also came with a wig cap if you're interested in wearing wig caps. And also, this wig has a $30 off coupon. So if you're interested in purchasing this wig, there's a coupon code that I'm going to include below. So don't forget to use it. And it's $30 off the purchase price of, of this wig. So now here's the star of the show. This is the Lisa Ray wig. And this wig has bangs. Comes with a full bang. Again, the hair texture is yakky. The color is 1B. This is beautiful soft hair. This is Indian Remy hair. And it's beautiful. It's absolutely soft. The ends are very nice also, if you can see the ends of the hair. Very, very beautiful. This is a glueless cap wig, which means if you want, you can wear this wig. This is a full lace wig. You can wear it without gluing it down. And so I love these glueless cap wigs from the RPG show. These are my favorite wigs to wear. I don't use glues or adhesives when I wear lace wigs. In the past, it was always difficult to get the best fit because there weren't any glueless caps available at that time, like two or two and three years ago. But now the RPG show has loads of wigs with this, with this glueless cap and this cap is just really great so you don't really need just not a lot of wear you just put it on and you and you're ready to go the cap is stretches multi-directional stretch which is really great which means that it'll fit just about any cap size this cap size is size one there is a cap size too so I do recommend that you take your head measurements and just compare them to the measurements that's on the site so that you can get the correct cap fit Okay, so don't forget to do that. Also, let me just show you, just to hold your wig in place, if you're not going to use adhesive to hold it down, you need to use these combs if you like. There are like three wire combs in the cap, two just at the temple area here, and the middle one sits right about here. Let me show you those combs again. These combs are very thin and flat, and they don't hurt. Also, in the back of the wig, there is a little bit of lace which I left in place just to show you all that if you want to wear adhesive with your with your wig and you want to wear a ponytail you do get some baby hairs in the back which helps that just helps you get a more natural realistic look when you wear it in a high ponytail or a mid ponytail the lace again guys is a Swiss lace it's very very soft very soft high quality Swiss lace and um, this, this is the medium colored cap. This cap also comes in a lighter color. So if you're lighter in complexion than I am and your scalp color is lighter, you can always buy the um, lighter color uh, wig cap. That's inside the, the lace cap. Okay, let me talk about the hairline. The hairline is a natural hairline. The knots have been bleached at the hairline so it doesn't look like you've got like black little black dots at your scalp it doesn't look like hair plugs or anything like that it looks really natural what I also like about the RPG show wig the inner cap is that I don't often wear a lighter colored wig cap to give the realistic look of a scalp this this color cap is just enough to give that look so I always wear my dark color my black 
This is my wig cap. I wear it's a netted wig cap. And I wear netted wig caps just so that my own natural hair can breathe in so air can circulate all the time. And this is the only type of wig cap I wear. So I'm going to put this on for you and I'm going to show you first of all how easy this stretch cap goes on. This glueless cap. You don't need glue to get a beautiful look, a beautiful fit. And um, so yeah, so I'm going to put this on for you right now. that quick and that easy. Now I haven't put the combs into place but uh, it, it's just just that easy. It's not it's not difficult at all to wear a glueless cap wig. You just slide it into place. It just goes on easy. Look at that hair. It's really pretty. They have a brush available. You can use a brush or you can use your comb. Let me just show you what that hair looks like. Really pretty. Look at that. Very nice. High quality. You can tell it's quality. Really, really pretty. So I'm going to use my comb. I'm going to make a part in this for you so that you can see how natural the hair looks. But first I'm going to just make sure when you put your wig on that the edge of the lace is sitting right at your natural hairline. My natural hairline is right here so this is that's a good that's a good fit that's a good placement. So I'm going to make a part for you just to show you how realistic the hair looks with the part and again I don't have on that natural colored wig cap that helps you get that natural look. I'm just going to show you just what kind of parting you get with the RPG show. You don't always need you don't always need that light colored wig cap. I hope you guys can see that. Looks really natural. So what I'm going to do is now for me use the brush. For me, I, I need to cut layers in this wig because it has a beautiful bang here in the front, but I need a little bit more than just a beautiful bang in the front. I need to um, I need to cut some layers right here along the face here, and uh, just to give it a more realistic look. It looks better. It looks natural, more natural that way. And um, I do recommend that if you're interested in having layers in your wigs that you definitely seek out a professional stylist. So this is what I'm going to use guys. I'm going to use this hair cutter comb or this, this is a tool that helps you create layers into your hair or any hair extensions or wig that you have and you just simply comb down in a downward motion and you'll get these beautiful layers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to Just the brush and make sure all the, the knots are out very quickly. And this hair is uh, tangle free, although I do experience some shedding, not a lot, but there is some shedding and uh, there are no tangles. So I'm going to start right about here with this piece first. And I'm not going to cut this whole thing, I'm just going to just make some soft layering around the perimeter of my face area. So I'm going to start, I like to start right about here. I have an oval shaped face, so I like to start making a lot of my cuts right about, right about at cheek to chin in between that area. So I'm just going to show you how easy it is.
So thanks so much for joining me. I do appreciate it. Take care and be well, and I'll see you at the next video. Bye-bye.